Well, many things happened the moment Jesus died. There was an earthquake, there was darkness, and then the curtain in the temple, as the scripture states, was torn in two from top down. Even a Roman officer who was present for the event said, this man truly was the Son of God. Well, last weekend, hundreds of women from all around the region came together to claim that freedom in Christ, stating corporately that there is no separation between them and God, and the Break Every Chain Conference encouraged them to recognize the chains in their lives and claim freedom in Christ. Now, more than a week since that impacting day, organizers believe chains are still being broken and lives continue to find freedom in Christ. Jennifer has more in today's OIO in the Community segment. They came from many backgrounds, many experiences, for many reasons. Some carried scars that were evident, others had kept them deep within, and some had already found healing and were there to encourage others. The Break Every Chain Conference brought together churches, civic organizations, multiple generations, all together to do just that, break the strongholds of the enemy and claim freedom in Christ. The key focus of the event was the reality of human trafficking. Dozens of pictures posted on a wall representing real Ohio young women who were missing. Throughout the event, attendees prayed for these women, some whose hometowns are right here in Allen County. I'm the sexual assault and human trafficking victim advocate in Lima, Ohio. So that means it's happening here. It's happening in our small towns. It's happening anywhere in any place, any state, any county, it's happening. So we need to be aware and do something about it. An informational hall filled with everything from self-defense items to ministry organizations. Four sessions with relevant statistics, biblical encouragement, worthy but difficult challenges, and praise and worship to the one true God, the one who truly only knows how many chains were broken on this important day at Lima Senior High School. I think this event is so significant because it is bringing together the reality that God desires freedom for every woman, regardless if it's a human trafficking or labor trafficking situation. But all of us can be enslaved to something, but we weren't meant for that. And He desires freedom for His women. There's emotional bondage. There's um, relational bondage. Sometimes it's a slavery of your past, resentment. Um, there's addictions all kinds of things that we are hoping to see God begin, or women begin to admit it's there, and then watch God do something only He can do. I have to tell you, everywhere I turn, I'm in awe. I see women writing truths on a wall. They're making bracelets, claiming their freedom truths. There, there's uh, women getting uh, pictures of girls off of a wall that are missing girls to pray over. Um, I've seen girls, women celebrating um, this cup of promises that God's given us. Just everywhere you go, there's evidence of God doing something, and it's, it's breathtaking. 